hey y'all welcome back to my channel so i'm going to be turning this old makeup vanity that my oldest daughter had in her bedroom that i had planned on throwing away into this beautiful whitewashed coffee bar when you're walking in i know it's true y'all i hadn't planned on recording anything today but I had went in her bedroom, got ready to clean it up, was going to throw that vanity out, and then I realized, wait, I could I could use this. We can do something with this. But here I'm just showing you how I changed around my kitchen. Obviously, I had to change it around. That way I could have a little coffee bar area. So I couldn't find my Allen wrenches to take this um, piece off the top where the mirror was. So next best thing was my sawzall, and as you can see, it it done it. It got it done. So I wanted to sand it down and get off some of the gunk that she had spilled on here, but that sander wasn't doing it, so I had to get the paint scraper and scrape it all off. And this is the same contact paper that I had left over from whenever I'd done my own kitchen countertops. And if you watch that video, then you know I love to use my blow dryer and an old debit card or gas card as a squeegee. And they both work really well to get air bubbles out. And the heat from the blow dryer helps the contact paper really stick. I hadn't planned on painting it. I was really just going to leave it like it was. Just throw the contact paper on and call it a day. But I, I just couldn't. I couldn't bear looking at it. So I ended up painting it with um chalk paint. And the color is mineral. I was going for the distressed farmhouse look and to get that look on this already black table was pretty easy to do. I can feel my body fold against the concrete, but I can't seem to get enough. My mind is fixed on what it wants. I just let you beat me. Look at me deceiving. Let you get the best of me. In bed with my worst enemy. This is a no go. I just can take cold. This is a danger zone. Here I'm just going in with my sanding block and lightly buff it to get off that layer of paint just on the raised edges. That way the black can come through even more. And here I'm just using a damp paper towel and my blow dryer to get off all the dust from sanding. I 
and y'all there it is the finished product it looks so good i'm happy with how it turned out and look at all that beautiful detail right there i'm so glad i did not throw this thing away